It all started from a vision, being in the city of Melbourne one day, walking down the streets, and all of a sudden seeing a, a guy pushing a trolley. In my mind, I visualized a guy uh, pushing a paleta cart, and basically a Mexican icy pole cart. It wasn't real. It was, he, that guy was pushing something else completely different. First thing I said after that moment happened, I went back to my friend Matthew, which is a guy from New Zealand. I went and talked to him straight away. And then I said, Matt, I think we need to bring this to Melbourne. What? Mexican paletas. I don't know what's this, but sounds like fun. So I showed him a few photos from Google of what the concept of Mexican paletas are. And he basically said, let's do this. This just sounds amazing. Um, what are paletas? It's basically a Mexican icy pool made with real fruit. There needs to be an emphasis in real fruit because there's so many icy pools or ice creams in the market made with artificial flavors and colors. That's not the case of paletas. So Melvin needed something like that for summer and that's what we've been doing for five years now. I was born in Mexico City. I have lived in many, many cities along Mexico from Mexico City to the north of Mexico, to the border of Mexico with California, then down to Guadalajara where tequila basically was born around that region. And um, I've, I've had many influences in my life with Mexican culture. Also because of my dad's work, we traveled a lot. And I came in 2005 to Melbourne to study a degree in marketing and advertising and basically that's where I learned lots of my skills. We're working back in Mexico and in advertising in agencies. Brought some of that and created a new brand called Chilbro Paletas uh, together with my mate uh, from New Zealand, Matt. Tequila is basically the drink for uh, celebration. It's the drink to have a good afternoon and maybe sip a tequila to have a bit of a downtime. My dad um, is not a big drinker, but Every now and then he used to sit down and just relax with a, a little caballito, which is our tequila shot. Not as a shot, but just to sit and enjoy a nice evening, hot afternoon with tequila, maybe lime. And it's a very important part of Mexican culture. Since a long, long time ago, since the beginning of times, it wasn't always a fancy drink. It became mainly popular around the world thanks to the Americans that discovered the, the the, uh, the drink, but it was born in that region of tequila, which is in Jalisco. But there's so many uh, theories and stories about how Margarita was born. Um, there's some of them, they say that it was born in Acapulco, in the coast of, uh, of Mexico in the south, um, created by a bartender for Americans back in the time with Elvis Presley, uh, was traveling in a holiday in Acapulco when that was the biggest place to go for American celebrities in the 50s, 60s. But there is also another story that in the north of Mexico, in the border in Ensenada City, there's, there's actually two bars where they actually fight themselves about who actually was the creator of the original Margarita. And we like to say that it was actually born in Ensenada, uh, made for a lady called Margarita. She used to order this drink a lot, made with tequila, with lemon, with ice, with uh, sugar. And so many times she ordered the same drink that they decided to call this drink Margarita. And now today it's probably about the fifth most popular drink in the world or cocktail in the world. Chilbro has been in Melbourne since 2015. We worked hard for a year to make this happen. I had to go back to Mexico to actually learn how to make paletas. Uh, I have to say it wasn't easy, but that's a different story. Anyway, I came back safe to Melbourne. We started practicing everything that I have learned, my, my business partner Matt and I, in my house, making the recipes over and over and over again until with perfection. The four flavors that we bring every year to Melbourne festivals and events, we bring them in traditional paleta cards brought directly from Mexico. So it can't be more original than the paleta shape, the original recipe from Mexico. So we basically bring the whole Mexican paleta experience to everyone here in Melbourne. When I was a kid, I grew up 
um, surrounded by lots of cousins, lots of friends. My family used to get together in a little summer town a few hours away from Mexico City where it was very tropical. There was definitely basically, and I'm not lying, surrounded by mango trees, and this is true. There was um, a swimming pool, a massive garden, but it was hot always. So for us, around mid midday, two o'clock, our parents, some of the parents used to go to the town, come back with a box full of paletas. That experience was just incredible to be like running and super tired and running around and all of a sudden hear the bell because the entrance to this little summer spot used to be the bell ring, and a, an actual bell. And every time that bell was ringing and we heard paletas, paletas, all of us would just gather around the box full of all of the paleta flavors that you can imagine. Amazing. So that experience, that's what we're bringing out to Melbourne in our paleta carts. Hey guys, how are you? My name is Juan from Chilbro Paletas and I want to invite you guys from Sabores Latinos for a workshop to make a strawberry margarita with a Chilbro Paleta, a Mexican icy pole. Come and join us very, very soon. You can't miss it.